Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder and creator of Slacktersup. Context menu feature. This is really great feature. It was already there in the free version and it has been there for a long time now. And this helps a lot in many cases when you are not able to like inspect the drop down elements which used to disappear immediately. So in that, in those situations, this feature is really, really helpful. Like, let me show you one example here. And in some situation when you are in hurry and you don't want to open Slack to sub uh, tab. So that's where also this is really helpful. So what you are having in the free version that you just, uh, let's say these drop down elements. So you right click and they, here you get the selector sub and you can copy that value because what happens when you try to inspect these elements, they immediately disappear if uh, that drop down go, uh, like uh, get hidden because drop down appear only when you hover on this. But when you right click and click on inspect, this used to go under this one and you are, we are not able to see the down. So in those situations, this feature is really helpful, this context menu feature. So here now in this uh, pro version, now we have the uh, great thing here that you can see the value right here. Earlier, you were not able to see the value here. You just, we were just able to see this copy relative X path and you used to click on that. But now you see that the value itself, you can see it here and you just click on this value to copy this. And now you can use it in your automation script. So this really helps a lot while uh, generating and getting the X path for such kind of elements. So you see here, you just right click on any element here and you can, before copying the value, you can see the value of these selectors. So this is really helpful. Any, anywhere on any page, you just right click, like say this one you want to copy, you just right click and you would be able to see the value here and copy that. So this is really great feature. It will help you guys a lot. What you have to do, you just uh, like here, let me show you one more example. You just go to any website and right click and hover here, see the value, whichever you want to copy, you just click on that and the value will be like, you want CSS selector, you just click on this value copied and you can use it in your automation script. So this is how you can use the context menu feature of uh, selector sub pro. This is really great and incredible feature. You right click anywhere on the page and use that. Here you can use this one. Another great thing uh, I will always recommend though I will always recommend here that you always take the value from the selector sub panel. Don't, uh, I mean, there will be some situation where you want to use this uh, context menu. Of course, there will be, this is good feature, but I will always highly recommend that you open selector sub pro here and then you take the value from here because here, from here you get all the information like whether that element is inside iframe, shadow DOM or that is SVG and a lot more information if that is intractable, non-intractable, if there is any error like for an example. Suppose we have copied, uh, we did a right click on this element and you copy the value from here. Okay, so this will work but XPath will work, but when you try to automate this element, there are chances that it might not work because this element is disabled element. But when you open selector sub tab, that's where you will understand, okay, this element has some specific feature. Like let's inspect this element here. Okay, so this is the element. So here, if you open selector sub pro here, so it will show you that input box is disabled, enable it to enter the value. So you know that from here, but if you right click here and try to copy the value from here, you would not be able to get to know that what is that, right? So this way it will be helpful that you take the value from here, not by context menu, because here you will get the all the information. But if you are in hurry and in some situation where you want, then you can take it from here. Another thing is that uh, sometimes there could be like, uh, because whenever you right click, it used to generate all the X path and selectors. So I would always also recommend that if you're not using this context menu feature, and if you want to turn off that feature here, like you're right clicking. So because whenever you right click, it will try to generate the selectors for that. And if you don't want, so what you can click do here, click on this logo here and you can turn off the context menu. 
if you ever feel that uh, there is some performance issue or you feel that because there if suppose you are on facebook and you keep on scrolling keep on scrolling the dom will be like very heavy so in that situation if it you will right click on the page and you try to generate the uh, generate the select because it will try to generate the select in the background uh, whenever you right click so that's where it will take some time it will make little slow like minor like some millisecond 5 10 milliseconds so in that case uh, we highly recommend that you turn off the context menu if you are not using that feature if you want of course you can turn on and then you can just uh, right click and you will see uh, like it will appear here and you would be able to use that feature okay like this you would be able to use this feature so this is how you can use the context menu feature though i always highly recommend that always take the value from the selector sub tab until unless it is not really required because from the selector sub tab you will learn a lot of things uh, about the element and uh, like whether that's iframe svg or whether there is some specific information in the element so that all things you will get it from there so yeah so yeah that's pretty much about this uh, context menu feature of selector sub pro hope you like this feature do let me know your thoughts in the comment section if any feature improvement anything you feel do let me know i will we keep adding keep enhancing these features to help you guys to save your time and please let everyone know about this incredible innovation selector sub pro and help people to save their time and energy and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet with that thank you thank you so much